guys, today's sewing room organization video is for all my Cricut girls out there. And guys, um, this is my Cricut station. And I am so proud of this, probably more proud of this station than anything else because this is the area, these are the things that were wreaking the most havoc in my sewing room. I just could not find a good way to store them all. I had, at one point I was putting them all away and then bringing them back out again every time I wanted to use it. And that was so annoying. And I found myself not making Cricut projects because uh, I didn't want to go through the hassle of pulling them out. So the fact that I have this now has really, really changed my life. So I got this cart from Target. And honestly, I did a lot of research on different carts. And this was the only one that could fit a Cricut machine in its entirety, all the way, like in the length of it. Um, other ones were just too uh, narrow or like not long enough. Um, so I wanted something where I could just leave my Cricut machine here and plugged in and sturdy enough so that I can actually use the Cricut Maker while it's on this stand. So all I do is I take my USB, uh, Cricut Maker also has Bluetooth capability, so I don't even have to do that if I don't want to, but I can plug in the USB, have my laptop on my cutting table, and the Cricut Maker will uh, cut everything right here on this stand. It's really, really been amazing. I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed and I couldn't have done it without the cart, but I did have to make some modifications to make it the perfect Cricut organization station. And that is, I had to drill some little holes into the side of this little metal cart. And I put in some of those coffee cup hooks, you know them, they're just like regular hooks, but there's like rubber on the outside. And then I hung all of my mats, all of my cutting mats. So I have my shorter ones here and my longer ones are on this side over here. So when I'm, when I'm ready to make a project, all my mats, no matter what I need, are all right here hanging from the cart. In the second area of the cart is where I have my heat presses. So I have my, like, I don't know, this is, I guess it's the large, I guess I call it the large one. I'm not sure. It's the largest one that they have. And I also have the mat that goes with it. Those two things live right here. And when I'm ready to use this, because I have the mat, I can put the mat on my plastic cutting table and it will not, the heat will not go through and distort the table. These mats are really, really great. And then next to it, I also have my little mini heat press, which is so, so cute and just stays tucked away. I also have this little container here tucked away, which holds all of my replacement blades. So those all live in one area as well. And then the very bottom shelf, this is my inkjet printer. So it's what I use for print then cut. And then on top of it, it doesn't look super pretty, but it's where I have all of my other materials, like the balsa wood, like the chipboard. Um, I have some construction paper whenever I go to make stencils. So all of that stuff sits on top of this printer. And little bonus, I haven't totally figured out what I wanna use these for yet, but this cart is magnetic. So you can put little jars. Um, I just put a bunch of magnets into the lid of the jar and then the jar just sits on top or underneath the shelf like so. So I don't know yet what I want to put into these, but I know that I love having the option of having them right there. So yeah, I am obsessed with my little Cricut cart. I think it's going to make such a big difference. I'm going to be able and have the desire to make a lot more projects with my Cricut Maker now that it's all in one place. I can use it right here on the stand. That's the best part. And it's out of the way of everything else, which I really, really love. So there you have it. If you don't have a Cricut Maker because you were worried about storage, maybe this will help. I'm not sure. But if you do have one, let me know how you store yours. Um, I would love to know if I'm missing any detail, if there's something else that I need here. Um, let me know in the comments section below.
But other than that, it's going to do it for me today. I will see you all very soon. Bye.